Welcome back to my writer's room, everyone. I am Matt Wallace, and thank you for taking a few minutes out of your day to come hang out with me here in my lonely little writerly sanctum. Uh, me Not Being Naked on the Vlog is brought to you by our t-shirt of the day, which as you can see is Hulk 181. First full appearance of Wolverine, and before angry comic book fans take to the comments, I know he appeared in a teaser in issue 180 at the end, but this was the first full appearance of Wolverine. <clears throat> so, I don't want to hear your shit. Uh, <laughs> thank you, everyone. That's what I want to say. Thank you for making yesterday's uh, book launch uh, day. It was, it was the day we launched uh, Gluttony Bay, the new book in my Sin Du Jour series. It came out yesterday. You made launch day. Fantastic. Um, thank you for signal boosting, ordering, posting reviews, all that good stuff. Please continue to do all of that. Um, it's key to longevity. But uh, thank you. It just it was it was a really good launch day. I really enjoyed it. Everybody enjoyed the, the launch day vlog that I did. They enjoyed the interpretive dance that I created in celebration of Gluttony Bay's launch. If you haven't seen that, go back and watch yesterday's vlog. I think it's worth it. I put a lot of put a lot of work and craft into that choreography. Choreographed for myself. Don't make a big deal out of it. You know, it's just it's a little thing I do. But uh, yeah. So it was good. I Even though I did spend a chunk of launch day yesterday at the dentist, it was my first visit to the dentist in literally 15 years. I have been to the dentist since, I, since 2002 um, when I had, I had a wisdom tooth abscess and then I had a molar. I've only ever had one cavity in my whole life. I'm, I'm very lucky with my teeth considering how horribly I've neglected them. So I had a molar pulled and I had a wisdom tooth pulled uh, back in Texas in 2002. And since then, I had not been to the dentist. It was, and you know, for, for the first visit in 15 years, I can't complain. I have one tiny little surface level cavity they need to scrape out. They're going to deep clean my disgusting mouth. And that's it. I got off pretty light. So despite that, it was still a good, a good launch day. But it's never pleasant to go to the, uh, to the dentist, especially as a former pro wrestler. Because they make you fill out these forms and they ask you, have you ever had a jaw or facial injury before? And if you answer yes, then they have follow-up questions. And you have, to, <laughs> you have to tell really strange stories that you can tell they're not used to hearing before. And they don't necessarily uh, believe you when you say, um, you know, you got stabbed in the face in a bar in New Jersey. Or uh, a 400-pound Samoan guy sat on your head and crushed uh, half of your face. But yeah, so I made, I made it through though. I made it through my first dentist visit in 15 years. I'm happy about that. So we have a question today. Someone, uh, you, uh, sorry, YouTube Blas 21. That's the, that's the name of the very nice person who, uh, they left a very nice comment on yesterday's vlog, my launch day vlog, and they posed a question that uh, I promised I would answer today. And the question was, uh, my take on the Xenomorphs from the Alien franchise, Ridley Scott, James Cameron, Alien franchise, versus The Thing from uh, John Carpenter's 80s remake of The Thing, uh, and the creatures were created by Rob Botton. Rob, Bo Rob Botton? Ron Botton? I'm forgetting now. Either way, John Carpenter's The Thing. They wanted my take on which species would be wiped out. And it was really interesting. I actually devoted cycles to this last night when I was thinking about the vlog today. And at first it just seemed like a really harmless geek mashup question, like who would win Batman versus Superman, you know, that kind of crap. And I was just, it was going to be a throwaway thing that I did today. But the more I got invested, the more I investigated the question, the more it presented this really like mind-blowing metaphysical existential kind of crisis. Because both of these alien species, if you haven't seen one or either of these movies, they're both these parasitic life forms the aliens the xenomorphs from aliens of course they have a queen who lays eggs the eggs give birth to um face huggers who attach themselves to a host face lay an egg inside them the egg bursts through killing the host becomes like the soldier alien who then corrals more host life forms to be impregnated by the eggs and they just they take over everything it's horrifying and of course they bleed acid and, and all that cool stuff uh, the thing, the the unnamed alien creatures in the thing, they can perfectly replicate other life forms and like be they could become me. They could like infect me and then sample my DNA and become me. And then they morph into these horrifying creatures and they infect other people by attacking them and driving tendrils into them and becoming them. So they're both these parasitic life forms that take over other species. 
But when I thought about like pitting them against each other, you know, I was, you think about it in like terms of like who's the nastier creature who would win a fight, but it's not really about that when you get into it. It's like if the thing tried to assimilate a xenomorph from Alien, like could they even do it? Because again, aliens have that like beautiful self-defense mechanism of a bleeding hydrochloric acid. So like the second the, the thing tried to get in there, they'd be like burned to a cinder. Likewise, if, you know, if an alien tried to impregnate a thing, would the thing, would the thing then be able to assimilate the embryo and turn it into one of the thing? It just, and like, and that's the thing. And, and then becomes this spiral of where I like, I actually literally spent a couple of hours with this in the back of my mind and every scenario came up with, there was a counter scenario of like, well, then the creature would do this. So the point is, I don't have a good answer. I don't have a good answer to who would assimilate who. All I know is I don't know why we've been wasting time on and money on these awful predator versus alien mashups. Now all I want to do is see a Xenomorphs versus John Carpenter's The Thing. Like, can we get that? I would, I would write it. I've, I've, you know, I've already started to do the research. So if somebody wants to do that, like hit me up. I don't know who has the rights to either of those properties. I'd love to work with John Carpenter. I, one of the greatest directors of the, uh, of the eighties and early nineties, um, ran into him in an airport one time in Nashville. I didn't run into him. He sat next to me in the gate and I didn't want to bother him. He was just sitting there reading a book and like chilling. And I just, I thought it was cool enough that I was, you know, near him. But yeah, I would love to work with John Carpenter on that. So that's, that's my question. Can we make that happen? Um, so the rest of this week, uh, it's all about working on the new novel. It's all about uh, pursuing some other projects I can't talk about right now, but I'm hoping I can talk about them soon because they're very cool. It's all about obsessively monitoring Amazon rankings for, again, Gluttony Bay, the new book that's out, and all the rest of the Sindiger series. Even though those rankings tell you virtually nothing in terms of hard numbers, it's something we all do now anyway. It's just part of the gig. And, uh, yeah, so that's, that's what I'm working on. I'm thinking about um, other uh, types of content I can do for this uh, channel, and I have a few ideas about that. If the, again, if there's anything uh, you'd like me to talk about or you have suggestions for a series of things you'd like me to talk about, I'd love to hear about it in the comments. Um, if you have any questions or any other topics you want me to cover here on the vlog, happy to do that uh, as well. Uh, this is going to be a short one. A short one for me. We're already seven and a half uh, minutes in here. I usually go between 10 and 15. It's going to be a short one for me today because I have a lot to do. But uh, I just, again, I wanted to thank everybody for a great uh, launch day yesterday for the book. I want to thank you for all your support. Uh, it really means a lot to me in terms of the books, in terms of this vlog, in terms of everything I do, whether you just, you know, whether you just signal boost me and follow me on Twitter, whatever you do, if you're supporting my stuff, I really appreciate it and I hope you'll continue to do so. Uh, please like, share, subscribe, all that good jazz. Leave me a note in the comments about what you thought of this video, what you think about Xenomorphs versus John Carpenter's The Thing. I'd love to hear your perspective on it. Um, I'm Matt Wallace and I will see you tomorrow.